Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is a garden shed. This company, Patio Well, sent me an email asking me if I was interested in one of these sheds. If I'd like to do a review video on one and install one, or assemble one. And my initial thought was, why do I need a shed? I have a 4,800 square foot barn. Two levels, three levels. And then I got to thinking, yes, that is going to come in very handy. Because my garden is back here. This is where the garden is. Water tanks over here for rain catchment, the watering garden. It's going to be a greenhouse over on that side. This is perfect for gardening supplies. I don't have to go up to the barn to get what I need to tend to the garden back here. So I said, yes, absolutely. That could come in handy on this homestead. Then my second thought, well, you know, I've seen those flimsy metal sheds before. You know, you just get them at Sears and Kmart. Montgomery Wards, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they didn't last two or three years. But when I got this one, number one, I had to lift the boxes. So I knew there was something substantial about it. This came in four different boxes and every box was heavy. Not like the old ones you used to get in one box and you throw it on your shoulder and carry it. This is a serious heavy gauge steel right here. I really like this. I'm so happy with this. We did it yesterday. I didn't factor that into the assembly time. But let me tell you a few tricks about assembly that we learned. Number one, read the book entirely before you start. Number two, watch all of the videos on YouTube, step by step how to build them. When you're finished, it's a great product. You know, all you need is a screw gun and a drill bit. You're gonna want a small, what we use, three eighths inch drill bit, about an eight, yeah. Because sometimes those little holes don't exactly line up. So you kind of fix your own, but it worked perfectly, you know. Another tip, make your floor 120.8 inches by 118 inches. That's the size. I've got a two inch overhang on the back because I made it 120 inches. In my world, 10 feet is 120 inches. But trust me, if you're gonna build a floor for it, it's 118 inches. This is strong. It does not move. It does not flex. I am amazed at the quality of this. I'll bring you inside and show you. But yeah, this should last a long, long time. And do you need one of these? You know, you look at the fact this is six or seven hundred bucks. Build a shed, a 10 by 10 wood shed, with the cost of material the way it is today. You know, this does make sense. Because it's lightweight, I can hook my tractor up, you know, I can pick it up, put a couple of skids under it, I can move this wherever I want to move it to. Relatively, it only weighs, I think it's about 350 pounds. Now it's screwed to the floor, which <laughs> That's got some weight to it now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's very spacious. Tall enough in the middle. I could walk in. I'm five foot ten, five foot eleven, something like that. Depends on what day of the week and what pair of shoes I'm wearing. I don't think this will have a problem with the snow load. You know, number one, it's metal. It's going to melt off really quick, drip off. But. I don't think 
probably that. It's so heavy, it's not gonna blow away. It's not gonna be able to get picked up. Well, let me walk you around it a little bit and show you a couple of the features of it. All right, let me walk you around this thing. Now this, let, let me explain something to you. Those look like scratches. One of the things you have to do is get 16 kids. So you can see it's not scratched. This keeps it from getting scratched. But this is something you will work on into retirement to try to pull off. But, like I said, it's not a scratch. It just is very hard to pull this stuff off. You get the point. It's nice colors, too. I like these colors. Let's go inside. You can see... I've got a six foot ladder leaned up against there. I don't have anything in it yet because we just finished it. But plenty of room in here. I mean, is it airtight? No. But yeah, see that ridge beam? I mean, that's, it's so solid in here. And it even sounds solid when you're walking around. It doesn't have that tinny sound to it, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this is a great deal. Especially if you don't want to build a wooden one. Or don't have the ability to build one from scratch. And I guarantee if you wanted to rent to own one this size, you're going to be into it for thousands. By the time that's over with. See that little edge there? That's the two inches <laughs> that I didn't need to... Uh, leave on there but fine hardware this is the exact same hardware that's on my shed at home my wooden shed close it up lock it and you're good to go so there you have it folks would I recommend it yes uh, I can't speak for longevity, but the way this is built and the, 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 the gauge of this metal, I think it's going to last a long time. And it's very nice powder coated. Everything's powder coated. It got washed on the screws, brass looking screws.